So we survived the night, which isn't something I take for granted at all. The start of this series has been a complete and utter, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's been madness. It's been insanity. It's been probably one of the craziest starts to a series I've ever had on this channel. And I've had a lot of starts and I've had a lot of restarts. And this has been a crazy start and restart technically. Yes, yesterday we restarted our series in this brand spanking new world of madness and chaos and everything in between. Thankfully though, uh, things have subsided the oh i say that as i see the tech quests were just flying around above my shoulder there for a second yeah the beach is quietened down it seemed a lot of the crazy predators have thankfully vacated and left a plethora of my dead bodies everywhere thankfully though a lot of the little beacons pointing out my dead bodies are slowly vanishing so it's it's quietening down a little bit which is nice because i've got a little bit of a shelter over here and by shelter ain't nothing being sheltered other than my feet we've got a tiny little platform here that i moved on to yesterday um because we managed to get ourselves a good amount of loot and i didn't collect any of this well i kind of did but i don't really deserve it you see that quetzal over there that let's see if he's gonna reappear i know he's over there flying around somewhere uh there he is Look at his big, actually, I shouldn't taunt him. I shouldn't go anywhere near him. If he's loaded in, there's a chance he's going to fly over here. And now he's facing us. And if he comes over here, he could easily wipe away everything we've worked up towards. So please go away. Please, please leave the... Oh, why did I have to go and show him? Basically, he's been killing everything on the beach. And he's totally about to come here and kill me, isn't he? Oh, he just killed that Triceratops. But basically, thanks to him killing everything on the beach, um, we have been able to get a nice amount of free loot. I'm kind of running towards him in hopes that he just keeps flying out in that direction and eventually despawns. But also, I want to harvest this Triceratops because it's going to have some pretty sweet loot on it, I think. Especially because it's free. Oh, it's the regular Triceratops. I saw the little like pinkness to it and I thought maybe it was going to be fabled, but no, it is not fabled. Uh, but yeah, things are looking great. Things are looking really good. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. They think they're looking absolutely terrible, but we're going to get there eventually. And that's all that matters. Now, guys, if you do enjoy the video, if you enjoyed the start of the series, could I ask a favor? Could I ask that you go ahead and punch that thumbs up? <gasps> I don't know what I was going to say there. I took a really deep breath and then I just just froze. I had nothing to really follow that up with. But uh, hey, thanks to everybody who has helped kick this one off with a bang. Now, today, we're going to turn our attention to getting things sorted. And hopefully, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to build upon this base. I don't really. It's not a base. Okay, it's not a base. But basically, I want to start unlocking some tools so we can actually progress. And we can actually defend ourselves against some of these crazy dudes that are coming to try and prevent that uh we obviously got ourselves an absolute stack of amazing blueprints here unfortunately we're nowhere near being able to craft them uh except for like this the pike here would be absolutely incredible all we need is metal unfortunately i don't have a forger a smithy or any of that good stuff but we can get that today hopefully uh, there's also a crossbow in here which would be fantastic however you're looking at a good 626 metal ingots which once again adds a ton of metal uh we also got our nice pickaxes which is sweet and there's this here as well which obviously we are nowhere near ready to craft but a godlieth primal bike capable of knocking out a lot of things that would be absolutely amazing obsidian potent narcotics metal as you can tell, we're still missing things that we can't get this with. So we're going to turn our attention to acquiring these resources. I need fiber and I need stone. So let's go and grab both of those. Also, this, 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 this like giant megalodon that's cruising around just on the shoreline over there. I'd love to kill it, but I don't think we're ready for that just yet. So quickly, a little bit of fiber. In fact, I think that's all we needed. A little bit of stone. There's a little trilobite down here too. Level 580. Um, some chitin would actually be kind of handy right about now, to be honest. So maybe I should go and grab that as well. Do you want to give me some chitin? Oh, I'll just let the little trilobite live for now. He's full of resources that I don't need right this second. So yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just let him go about his day. Now, I still need 35 stone. I thought I was... Dang it. I thought I was a little bit closer to having all the stone that I needed. Is this harvestable? Yeah, you better believe it is. Also, this is like a fabled parrot sitting there in the water over there. I don't know what his game is or what he's doing, but he, he should be careful. There's a lot of deadly dudes out there in the water. I've seen them with my own eyes. In fact, there's one down there that is literally launching rockets into the sky. It's I, I don't know what it is, but it, it blew me up. <laughs> Wait, did it blow me up? Or it just fired rockets near me the other day. Uh, we definitely got blown up, though. I'm pretty sure it was that crazy um, buffoon 
Megapithecus? There was a, there was a gigantic pithecus. There was a monkey running around with a clown mask on and some chainsaws. He fired rockets. He killed us. It wasn't a good time, but it is what it is. Now, let's get this metal going, shall we? Let's just... I don't actually have much metal, so let's go and... I don't even know where to get metal from. We got, like, no metal. Oh, there's the big old crazy monkey dude. <laughs> oh, he must have heard me talking about it. Well, I'm going to go this way. I don't even know which way is better to go, to be honest. It's crazy monkey dude with the chainsaws, or it's the giant mechanical Quetzal who just swoops down and annihilates everything. So I guess we're going to run up to the Redwood Forest biome because <laughs> what, what, what could possibly lay out there? Oh, except absolutely everything. Every predator known to man that wants to kill us. Anyways, let's hope we can get some sweet, quick and fast metal out of just regular rocks uh because i don't want to go too deep into this forest this forest will be man why are these rocks breaking so quickly just my, my pickaxe is just too powerful for them um yeah i really don't want to go too deep up here it won't take much for just absolutely anything to annihilate me um but so far we're okay by the looks of it now i just want enough metal to i don't even know what i, what I want metal for to be honest right this second a crossbow a pike you know, maybe maybe just some regular old armor. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really care. Just, I just want to smelt up some metal so we can get some stuff cooking. That would be fantastic if we could do that. And we ain't getting much of it. Maybe down here could be good. I actually don't know. I've never, like, begun a series on this part of the map. So I don't really know what this area is like for resources. But hopefully we can find some soon. Some obsidian would be nice to help us get some tools, but man, these rocks just break in an instant. Also, this this fabled pteranodon over here, my goodness, it is a beautiful. All right, let's see what these can get us. All right, four metal, not bad. Also getting kind of heavy now, which is a little bit of a concern. And stamina looking pretty low too. We got 20 metal pieces, that's it. <laughs> that's not much. I'm actually thinking of uh, upgrading our stamina. I'm actually going to put level into stamina. I don't normally do that like this early on, but... It's probably quite vital, to be honest. Man. Talk about suffering from success. Oh, I just heard something. I heard something zappy. And when you hear zappy things, it's, it's not generally a good sign. Oh, hello. Oh. Wait, what in the world? You're just a compy. Just like a really big compy. Um, hey guys. You guys want to die by... Hey, hey. Cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that out. Just just go to sleep. Go to sleep. And then I can, I can finish you off. Don't run away from me. Go to sleep. Good. Let's try and get some experience from this little dude. Oh, actually, speaking about experience, I just remembered I managed to get something yesterday from those fabled dudes we were talking about earlier. We've got some experience potions in our inventory. Um, I just don't know. Like, hello? Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Great. Please, please, please go away. I didn't like you. Go away, Microraptor. Go away. What even is this? Is this just an ordinary Microraptor? I don't even know why I'm pursuing it. Run away. Hello, hey, hey, hey. Okay. You can go You can go to sleep too. I don't know where the Microraptor went, but he's clearly given up on that journey. So props to him for knowing he was fighting a losing battle. Um, I got to get to water. I'm really thirsty. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, I'm just going to let this dialogue go. We've got to level up our sleeve. Oh, and yeah, as I was saying, we got these experience potions over here. I don't know if I want to consume them because we're going to gain a ton of experience if we do. I'm going to use this one here. I'll use the little medium. <laughs> 25 levels, what? Um, okay. All right. Hey, let's go and increase our damage a bit. Um, I should probably increase my weight a little bit too. And maybe some, maybe some health. Sure. Couldn't think of a reason not to. And one level into stamina. Uh, that's a nice and easy way to reach level 46. Also, there's that tech parasaur that killed us like three times yesterday. There's also a microraptor down there on the beach. So maybe we keep running this direction. I really, I really should go get some water to drink, but I want some metal. Is that too much to ask for? There's got to be like a metal node somewhere around, or at least something around here. In fact, surely I can just smash down some of these berries to quench my thirst for a little bit. We'll see how that goes. It didn't last very long. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, there's a purple drop over there. Should I try and get to it? It just, it looks quite far away. However, yeah, there it is. It's actually not too far. I was hoping maybe there'd be some water, like a little river down here, but that's not looking like it's the case either. Ah, 
Ah, what? An ad? Well, kicking today off with a bang then, aren't we? Well, today's not going to be the deathless day I was hoping for, unfortunately, but did we really expect it to be? Well, now I got to go and grab my stuff. And what is that doing on the beach? Uh, um, I don't think old clown monkey over there is going to be the biggest problem anymore. Uh, <laughs> I know that look all too well because I've been facing these guys in my scorched earth 100 day survival lately. And where did it just go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It was approaching and then it just stopped. It's It's got to be around here somewhere. There is something hiding under the sand on this beach. And to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to lure it away from my base. Um, is it here still? Or did it did it vanish? It might have it might have just vanished. I think it has. I think it's gone. Oh, thank goodness. I thought there was a death worm on this beach for a second, but it looks like it has disappeared. Speaking of disappeared, where did the clown clown monkey's gone? I don't even know. Anyways, I'm gonna let those guys go. We're gonna head and go get our stuff because I should probably go and get that stuff. <laughs> Seriously. Deathworm just casually like burrowing across our beach. What? I don't even I don't even know where it went to, but let's hope that it doesn't just randomly appear under my base. Not that I really have much of a base to lose anyway. Oh, come on. Give me a break, Tech Parasaur. Please. Oh, I forgot he just runs through rocks too. <laughs> Can't even run anymore. Ah! This is where the size mods on these dinosaurs is really going to impact us because it's a 0.7 size parasaur it's basically smaller than the average parasaur it means it moves extra quick which is why i can't outrun the thing otherwise normally i should be able to outrun the thing um i'm even further away from my stuff now than i was before well wish me luck i don't know how i'm gonna go and get this stuff but we gotta get it where were you a minute ago when i was dying of thirst Little water jug bug would have been the perfect little thing to come across. But uh, yeah, it was, yeah, I don't even know. Whatever. Yes, I know you are beautiful and majestic and I want to tame you, but I'm not quite ready yet, friend. Okay, I think this is roughly where we were. Oh, it's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay, we managed to get back. Oh, the ants are just chilling there on my body. That's fine. They're slow. I should, well, I think they are at least. I should be able to just lure them astray for a second. Here they come and we can run around and grab our stuff, hopefully. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I've got like just a split second to grab my stuff. And we're out, and we're out. Go, 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 go. Up, 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 At least I'm not thirsty anymore, so that's a positive. But, oh, goodness. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty big fall. Hi, Tramatodon. Don't mind me, just cruising past. Um, We really got to get some armor going, I think. There's a Trudon over there. That's not good. Yeah, this little, like, cloth armor ain't gonna, ain't gonna cut it. Not at all. Uh, that's not... That was, okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, that's a big fall. Oh, that was like a third of my health. Not good. I didn't even want to slide down that. But we've made it to the purple drop. And we've got absolutely nothing for our troubles. Ah, that's disappointing. Oh, well, it is what it is. That's cool. That is cool. All right, um, no metal ingots, uh, the, the metal nodes out here either, unless there is some up there, but that's a pretty, pretty big hill to climb. I might be able to make it up there. As long as the alpha pteranodon over here doesn't turn aggressive on me, which I'm just going to run past it and we'll see if we can make it up here in one P. Can I even, okay. Yep. We can make it up here. Yeah, yep. Okay. Hey, Glimmermus. Get on with it, mate. Um, come on. All right, I can break this rock. Get out of my way. Oh, two metal from that one there. Oh, you spoiled me, metal node. Um, this is not ideal though. I can't get up this cliff. It's too, it's too steep. I missed my cross grapple bow thing. Text strider over there too. I didn't even know they spawn out here. Um, okay. There we go. All right. Well, we eventually got there. Unfortunately, I still... There is a dead thylacolio over there, I think? Dead something over there. Either way, it's where there are dead bodies. I am bound to be a dead body there soon, so we're just going to head away from that. 
What have we got over here? Let's have a look. There's a gold drop over there, which I might even be able to get into now that I'm like such a high level. It's also a giant tur... What? Is it? Is that? Oh, it's a trophy Ignathus. I was going to say, it looks like a Pteranodon. Definitely not a Pteranodon. Um, interesting. What are you doing there in the water, buddy? Doesn't seem like your natural habitat. Also, I don't think anything is up this cliff, just for the record. Um, yeah, no metal or anything. So that's not ideal. But dude, what a beautiful flying little beast over there. I really would love to cut through this river and get to that gold drop. But the longer I spend out here, the I, I just don't feel safe. Um, I might, I'd like, oh, it's Gigantopithecus over there. Like maybe I can, what is that? Do you see that white fluffy thing directly ahead? Is that a Dodo Reaper? It is a Dodo Reaper. What is a Dodo Reaper doing? Oh, um, not good, but it's fighting a, it's it's so far away I can barely see it. It's fighting a, a, a fabled Parasaur. It's having a rough time. If it dies, I might, oh, it's a, in case I wasn't tempted enough, it's like a gold ringed gold drop too, but okay, the, you know what? This guy's keeping him occupied. Fingers crossed there's no piranhas in this water. Hopefully we don't fall off this waterfall either. I'm going for it though. What have we got to lose other than everything we have on us? Uh, they're still fighting. Okay, you know what? That parasol must have a ton of health. I don't see any immediate threats between me and the drop. There's a tiny little monkey dude, but as long as we keep at distance, we should be fine. There's a strider. Something's dead. What is this? Dodo? Terror bird? Okay, nice. Ants. We've got ants again. All right, that's cool. That's cool. In fact, I might be able to kill them. We just... Yes. Nice. Number two. The first one went down so easily. This one here is... Okay, down as well. I really want to get out of here. This monkey, though, could be a problem. And I just run around it. Come on. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're out of stamina. We've got more ants coming for us. It's the ground variety, though, so that's fine. Okay. We made it. All right, fingers crossed. We're not about to get annihilated by something. Yes! We've got a, we've got a melee weapon! Oh, come on. Qu equip it. Equip it. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes! Get wrecked! I have no idea how much damage this thing deals, but we have a sword. We have a sword. Fantastic. Okay, who won out of the Dodo Reaper and the, 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 the Parasaur over here? Parasaur. Not Parasaur. Par I think the Parasaur won! Unless they're still... Yes, he did. Oh, I'm 100% getting in there to harvest. Is there any loot on this thing? Dude, <laughs> get wrecked. Big old xenomorph, weird hybrid alien. Oh, now we're talking. The thing at elements? That's not good. What is that? Hold on, something is exploding out here. No, oh, I don't even know where I'm meant to be going, but there's explosions everywhere right now. What is going on? I have no idea what's exploding. Ooh, there it goes again. What is happening? What is going on? Is it the... I don't know what's... I don't I, I don't know. I don't know what's... Is it the otter? I think it's the otter. No, it can't be an otter. Why would an otter be exploding like that? All right, I'm hungry. Let's get some berries in. I'm so confused, but... Okay, I, I'm going to get out of here before I end up as, you know, a casualty in all of this madness. I don't want to get mixed up in any of this. So I think it's time we head back to base. We got the gold drop. We looted a big old Dodo Reaper. So that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I think I think we've overstayed our welcome out here. Thankfully, that's not an alpha. Otherwise, that would have been tragic. Um, still need metal. In fact, we found these rocks. Okay, these guys are all fantastic for metal. Nice. Okay, good, 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 good. A few little river rocks. That's exactly what we needed. Now we're talking. All right, we're getting kind of heavy. I'm going to throw this level into weight just to give us a little bit of a boost there. Um, 14 elements at this point in the world is fantastic. A Pelagornis, a Godlius Pelagornis saddle, 130 armor. That thing is ridiculous too. Unfortunately, we can't equip these gauntlets, but hey, if we get enough metal, we might be able to. So that'd be pretty darn sweet. Um, but let's just, let's just focus on getting home for now because... Yeah, I think I think I think that would be a good idea. So this big old alpha dimorphodon over here got me a little concerned though. I'm gonna steer up here to the right. I see an egg. I don't know what it belongs. It's an elemental egg. Dark Archeops egg. 
Oh, that could actually be quite valuable to us. Unfortunately, if I try though, I'm pretty sure the Dark Archaeops will annihilate us. So I'm just going to... Just gonna keep on running past. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. Dang it, that egg would have actually been pretty sweet, but we don't need it yet. So that's, we'll, we'll just pretend we never saw it. Give me some sand. Well, of all the things I thought I'd die to on this adventure, that wasn't it. All right. Perf Ooh, hoo, hoo. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm seeing things. Do we even? Oh, I spawned like this end of the. Oh, crazy clown monkey is way too close. Um, please just ignore me. I'm not here, okay? I'm I'm not here. You keep. Oh, he's totally gonna. He's totally gonna kill me. He's totally gonna kill me. I. Well, he hasn't caught. We, uh, can we run in different directions, please? There's another gold drop on the beach, and I really want to get to that, but. Uh, he's, he's way too close to base. He's going to kill that... He might kill that parrot, though. That parrot will drop some pretty sweet loot. Hopefully, a, a, a weapon rather than just a blueprint. Um, but I'm just going to pretend there's nothing over there. There's no crazed clown monkey anywhere near me or my stuff. I'm going to grab this drop. I'm going to grab my stuff and hopefully return it all back to base in one piece. Ooh, a shotgun. I've actually got shotgun shells at base, too, so that could actually be pretty sweet. Not what I was hoping for, but not terrible. Oh, please go away. You're going to take my shotgun. Oh, he took my shotgun. I can't even do anything about it. Ah, uh, that sucks. <laughs> well, the shotgun dream is dead, I suppose. Um, Really? Alpha Dodo? What is, what, what is with the aggro range? Okay. Alpha Dodo. Kind of not cool at all. Also, I've got no stamina. So I can't even run from the darn thing. I'm going to die again. No, I'm not. I got stamina back. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Just give me my stuff. Oh. Go, 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 go. I don't know where the, the dodo is, but I can't believe... I can't believe the, the biggest threat to me right this second is a dodo. Well, in good news, we are back at our tiny little platform here. And I've got 107 bits of metal that we can smelt up into metal. Um, I'm going to need some more storage. But is there any point? Because crazy monkey man over there is probably just going to barge on over here and annihilate us and everything we have anyways. Um, can I get a storage box at least? Five up. Man, I... Uh, <laughs> this is tough. I... I don't even, I don't even know where a safe place to live is at this point because clearly the beaches just don't work. I might need something a little bit more sustainable, a little bit more fortified, a little bit more just secluded and on its own just away from everything i yeah i'm gonna have to give some deep thought about where we're gonna live i don't even think the islands are safe i mean this island over here looks nice looks secluded looks all alone but that's where the tech quetzal that has annihilated us about five times kind of originated so even that's not really that safe but it is what it is i suppose well, at least we have our box now, so that's nice. Let me just unload, I don't even know, just the stuff that I don't need to be carrying around right this second. There's a lot of it. We don't need much of this stuff. Um, I'm going to keep that so I can actually knock dinosaurs out. We're going to drop the seeds. We're going to... I guess we'll, I guess we'll get rid of... Man, we got some... We got a good amount of resources here, I'll tell you that much. That's... that's We got that going for us, at least, I suppose. I still don't have food, though. Thankfully, we've got water down here because we live next to the ocean. It is salty, but we'll just ignore that. Uh, maybe I should set up a campfire, except I don't actually have what I need on me for a campfire anymore. Campfire is on the way. And then once we have the metal... Oh, and I still need crystal for one of these for Primal Smithy. I guess we're just going to have to settle for a regular smithy for now. But at least then we'll be able to get ourselves a metal hatchet, a metal pike, and just, just other essential stuff. The smithy is on the way. Can I afford, like, two more? Okay, I can afford one extra foundation. And you know what we should also probably turn our attention to? A bed. I feel like a bed is probably quite vital right this second. I'm a little bit of resources short, but it's okay. We we, we can quickly go and fix that. There's our smithy. There's some fiber. And we have ourselves a pair of beds. Let's hope that they both, both don't get destroyed at the same time. But at least now we'll be able to respawn here a couple times whenever we die. And uh, yeah, things should be starting to look up from here. I do though. Wow, I've already, we've already got so much stuff unlocked. I'm one metal lingot short. Really? Wait, really? Where are my metal lingots at? I've got eight of them. 
How many do we need for a hatchet? Surely not that many. Oh, we need eight. All right, there. Fair enough. Okay. Well, we got a hatchet on the way at least, so we can actually go and collect a solid amount of hatchet resources now so that's kind of nice well i forgot we got our sword still so that's pretty sweet but um ultimately we are i guess moving in the right direction no new teams not much progression but hey a lot of items that uh soon we should be able to craft guys we're getting there we're getting there we're pushing through the barriers we're breaking through the walls things are looking up if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. If you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.